All right, we are back in Icarus today. I know I've been in this world a lot, but I can't help myself. I've been having so much fun. And right off the bat, I'm kind of rushing. Oh my goodness, this is it's broken stairs. I gotta fix this, otherwise I can't walk up and it makes it impossible. But yeah, I'm kind of rushing right now because I think what I believe I started was an easy mission, but I just realized it's timed. Um, so it looks like I have just under 1,200 seconds to go find this downed drone. And I can kind of see the smoke here in the distance, so we're gonna run straight for it. We should have plenty of time, but I wanna make sure that I've, I'm there and, and I get it just, I, I don't need it to be a close call. And then once we do this mission, we'll probably start another one, see what it's all about, and then go from there. And um, I don't know, maybe we'll do some mining. Maybe we'll do some building. I'm not sure, I'm just kind of winging it as usual. Okay, here we are. Um, it looks like it's in this little patch of wheat, maybe. Can't really see it here. Let's clear some of this stuff here. Oh, yeah, here it is. Um, press to interact. Oh, 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 whoa, whoa. Um, protect the drone as it uploads sensitive data. Oh, boy. We're going to have some enemies here. I don't. Oh, no, my bow is very low right now. What kind of enemies are we going to deal with? Oh, no. Not the fun kind. I did not know that we would find these worms outside of caves. Okay, we're going to switch to our knife and just go slice and dice them. I think we'll be okay. Our knife is a... I mean, it's about half full right now. But I have upgraded it quite a bit to do more damage as well as uh, stab a little bit quicker. Oh, boy. It is not just the worms we got to deal with. Okay, luckily he was trapped in there. Okay, so it is all kind. Of Wait. It is all kinds of wildlife here. Um, oh boy. I hear him. I don't see him. I'm panicking. I'm panicking. Ow! Where did that one hit me from? I don't even see him. There's one. Okay, there is one that's like here, but I can't see it. it keeps hitting me. It doesn't seem to be hitting the drone, so that's okay, I guess. Yeah, see, I just... I, I can't see them. They're invisible. Oh, no. This guy isn't, though. Ouch, ouch. No, stop. Yeah, these, these worms are invisible. Oh, this one isn't. Oh, I'm, like, infected, and I don't have anything to cure myself with, and it slowed me way down. Oh, no, 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 no. I might die. I'm gonna die. So, because I didn't set my respawn point to my new bed that I put down, I had to spawn at a random location. I don't even know where I'm at. Oh, I'm actually right next to it. That's good, but that wolf is tearing it apart right now. Okay, let's go, let's go. We gotta get to our body. Oh, I, I hope we can see these worms. I don't know what's going on. I don't know why they're invisible. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. Hey, get off of it. I think I'm going to die again. Oh, boy. I think I'm going to die again. All right, new plan. So instead of doing that uh, ridiculously hard and crazy mission, I abandoned that one. And by abandoned, I mean failed. And I started a new one. And the new one, apparently, we have to search the area and collect prospector IDs from fallen prospectors. And then we have to deliver them to the Cinetai Retrieval Pod. I don't know how you say that. That one is over here. I don't know what that's going to look like. But um, we're going to go find out here in a second. Before we do that, let me put away my fishing rod. I just got done fishing, by the way, and I found this emerald diano. It's a rare freshwater fish, uh, and I don't know. I guess that's all I know about it. I don't know if there's anything special that comes from filleting it, or maybe it'd be cooler to just mount it. Either way, I'm filleting all three fish that I have. Let's see if it does anything here. I don't... Oh, yeah, no, it just gave me regular <laughs> fish fillets. Okay, um, but I do have a couple things in my inventory. 
And that is an avocado and something else. What was it? Soybeans. And that's going to allow us to make some stuffed avocado. And that gives us 75 max health and stamina and 10% health regeneration. So, I don't know. I guess let's just try that really quick. We've got an open space in our stomach that we can make that. I just want to try it out. And then we'll throw the rest into the ice box here, including the fish fillets. Let's go ahead and eat this. It's 900 seconds. Yeah, it's not bad. Gives us a little bit extra health. We'll drink up some water. And what do we got in our inventory? Ella, let's offload a little bit more before we go. I'm just throwing everything in here at random. And you know what? Before we go, I know there's some crocs and things around here. And there's a pig out there that I want to kill. But right now, I should have all of the materials for this. The simple creature deterrent. I just need a little bit of wood, which I've got down here somewhere. And then I don't think it's going to get rid of them like the ones that are already here. But it'll stop other ones from coming in. And that's exactly what I want. Because every single time I jump back into Icarus, we have about 80 new crocs. And it's just an absolute pain. So, I don't know where to put this. Oh, yeah, I put railings on here. I, I'm not really digging it. I'll probably move that. But let's just put this down right here for now. Let's see what that looks like. Okay. That's kind of creepy, to be honest. But either way, let's get going. I actually did pick out my crossbow. So, let's actually, hold on. Let's use that. Boom. We're going to be eating some bacon tonight. Oh, a lot of bacon. Oh, that was not what I want to shoot at. <laughs> there we go. All right. I'm going to try not to get too distracted before I get over to the mission area. Oh, yeah. One thing I forgot to mention. You may notice the bars above all of the animals' heads. And that's because I unlocked the ability to see the health and level of the deer. Well, not just deer, but any animal that's in the vicinity. I I do like that, but it also kind of ruins the aesthetics of everything. Being able to see their health bars. I don't know. I, I, I wonder if there's a way to disable that. If there is, I might just do that because I, I don't know how much I love it. Okay, so I'm coming up to the mission area and I'm already seeing a wolf over here and then a bear in the distance. Two bears and then three bears. So I'm wondering if these are the enemies we're going to be fighting. If so, uh, I might have come underprepared in terms of arrows, but we do have our crossbow still. We've got 34 bolts with it. Let's just uh, let's just go for it. Oh, man. I'm. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. This is not good. Okay. Let's just... Knife. Knife. Okay. No, I thought I got him. Okay. Yeah, these, um, these are strong bears. So we got to get in the water. That's going to be our best bet to defend ourselves against these guys. Oh, he just took off running. I don't know why. Okay, well, let's heal up with the suture kit really quick because that bear did a number on us. Um, do we have... Can we just eat some berries or something for some health? No, that didn't give us anything. There we go. We got a little bit from the dried stringy meat. Okay. Let's run to this pod. I see it right up here. And let's see what we got to do. Just to search the area and collect the prospector IDs. I wonder if there's going to be more than one. Oh, wait, no. This is the the pod that we're supposed to bring it to, I think. Oh, I think that's what it is. Okay. Oh, wait. Right here? We've got one. Oh, man. Dead group 15 agent. Whatever killed them might still be around. Oh, my goodness. What in the world? Prospector identification. Okay, uh, is that all of them? Oh, there's going to be more than one body, right? Let's throw those in here. We're, yeah, oh! Oh, no, that was it. That seemed to be it. Okay. I don't know why that, that second bear decided to... Wait, what? What's going on? Okay, so that's one... Oh, this is where we collect our reward. Okay, well, that was super easy. That was supposed to be a medium mi mission. I think those bears down there were supposed to attack me. I see three in front of me right now, and there's a fourth one down there. I think something went wrong, and I'm okay with it. So we can get some food, some... Oh, polar bear, bear pelt. That might be good. Either that or... 
I don't want these bears to get too close. Or a couple iron cupboards and a small interior wood crate. I kind of want that polar bear pelt, but I really want these storage boxes. Here, let's claim those, take them, and get the heck out of here before it takes off. I do want that polar bear pelt, but the thing is, is I, I don't even think I have the skin unlocked for that just yet. I think we have to level up a few more times before I can even unlock the, um, the armor for that. I mean, while we're here, we might as well go after these bears. And there we go. I think this is the last bear in the vicinity, as far as I know. So let's just head back to the base and keep going. All right, we've made it safely back to the base. And, oh yeah, I forgot to mention, I found this little guy wandering about and um, I've just kind of kept him trapped in here. I haven't been feeding him or anything. I think he's been wanting to go to the bed that's over there, but I know how that's gonna end up. He's gonna end up in the water and swimming forever. So I'm just kind of keeping him trapped in here for now. But we've got these iron storage crates. Um, I don't know how they're gonna look aesthetically with everything here, but let's see if we can slide one right in here. Okay, that's kind of heavy duty. I don't know how I feel about it, but let's throw two down. Let's make it symmetrical at least. There we go. Oh yeah, I did have this little rustic nightstand that came with uh, one of the easy missions that I did. Um, but now I know I unlocked the uh, another bow I think it was the recurve bow. I don't know how to craft it though. Here it is. Okay, so we're gonna need some steel rope, aluminum, epoxy, and some steel screws. We have pretty much all of that except for the screws, but I think we can make that. Oh yeah, we are we don't have a ton of steel ingot. I'm gonna have to use a bunch of iron in order to craft some steel bloom, which will then allow us to smelt some steel ingot. Now, do we craft the steel screws here? Yes, we do. Oh, one steel ingot makes a hundred steel screws. Okay, that's really good then. Okay, let's grab some rope. Do we have any in here? We have plenty. And then, oh, let's deactivate this. We're just kind of burning fuel. And then, and then the last thing we need is some epoxy. Do we have any? No. Let's just make, I guess, a hundred out of all the crushed bone that we have. All right. We should have everything that we need. There it is. Okay. So let's see how this compares to the bow that we've got now. The bow that we have is plus 25% projectile damage and 300 rate of fire per minute. And this is plus 50% projectile damage. Oh, that's really good, okay. Now, I don't know how much longer, if any longer, this is going to last than just the regular longbow, but I guess we're gonna find out. And we probably wanna do some upgrades instead of just continuing to use bone arrows as much as I want to because it's such like easy crafting for the bone arrows because we've got a ton of bones and a ton of leather and things like that. But let's see here. I don't think we have any other projectiles unlocked. No, we probably wanna either unlock the steel arrow or flint arrow. Flint arrow is probably going to be the cheapest, but I can't unlock anything right now because I've used up all my points. Oh, look at this thing, though. This thing is pretty cool. Oh, it looks way too modern for me in my leather armor. <laughs> I guess we're going to have to upgrade our armor here pretty soon. Let's see. Is there any gators around here that we can practice on really quick? There's no gators, but I do see a Komodo and a wolf over here. Let's just take a shot. Boom. I don't know how much damage that did. Let's try another shot. Boom, right in the head. Okay. It's got my stamp of approval. Does the job. That's all it needs to do. Oh, oh my goodness. And I almost completely forgot. But if we go over to the machining bench, you might have noticed it. But there is a bolt action rifle that we can now craft as well as rifle rounds. So that's all I unlocked. I unlocked the rifle rounds, the casing, and the bolt action rifle. And I think we've got everything for it, don't we? We need a bunch of iron, a bunch of ammo casing and gunpowder, some steel, and some refined wood. 
think we can make the gunpowder here in the mortar and pestle. We need a bunch of sulfur and a bunch of charcoal. We have a ton of charcoal. Let's grab a stack of 500. And then where's our sulfur at? Right here. Okay, and let's give it a shot. Let's see how much we can make. We can max it out at 100 right now. And since we've got two mortar and pestles, let's start another queue of more gunpowder. This might be overkill, but I'm doing it. I don't care. So right now we're crafting 92 here, and then there's another 100 in this one. So let's throw away the uh, charcoal. Oh, and let's put this small interior wood crate down. Let's see how that looks. Let's put it in the kitchen area. I think that's probably going to look best. And there it is. Uh, I might find a different spot for it. This kitchen area is subject to change. I did make a second uh, uh, ice box here. But I do see a croc down here, and I'm going to start going after him because these guys are a pest. Oh, my goodness. I've never one hit a crocodile. <laughs> that upgrade was 100% worth it. Oh, that's so good. I'm going to grab a bunch of iron ingots here. And then I don't know how many ammo casings we should make, but let's make, uh, let's start with 50. Oh, I just realized we're making five ammo casings per one piece of iron ingot, so we really don't need that much. Let's stop that. We already have 155. And then how many rifle rounds can we do? We can do nine times five, so another 45 rifle rounds. And then I've got some steel ingot cooking up. We can grab some cured leather and refined wood, and then we are going to have a rifle. All right, we've got enough to craft a rifle, and here it is. Let's take all 45 rounds that we've got. Let's take this rifle out. Let's uh, swap it out for our crossbow here. Just going to throw that in there with the ammo. Our inventory is full. Let me offload a lot of this stuff really quick, and then we'll go out and do some uh, some target practice. Oh, 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 oh. oh, this thing is so cool. Uh, I don't know if I want to practice it on the buffalo. I feel kind of bad for that. I'm not going to do it on the moa. I really want to find another croc. I have a vendetta against those guys. Yeah, I'm not doing it on Mr. Sleepyhead right here. I would feel so bad. All right, well, let's just try it on this uh, little Komodo. 300 with one shot. Okay, not bad. Oh, wait, what do we got over here? Please tell me it's a croc. <gasps> it is. Let's see if we can get a headshot. <laughs> oh, we're going to have some fun with this one. It's obviously kind of a slow shooting gun, but it does a ton of damage. Oh, I am so excited to have this rifle now. Uh, one thing I did that I forgot to mention is I moved our little mission board all the way out here because I was advised that apparently one of the reasons that the missions that I had started on the other side of the mountain was because of the placement of my mission board because it was so close to the mountain that they uh, somehow placed the missions on the other side. So I moved it out here to kind of a central location just to see if that helps. And the last mission I did that we just saw earlier, it seemed to help. But I think, I don't know. Do I do it? Am I getting overconfident? Do I do the hard mission that looks like it's going to be in the snow biome? We have the fur armor, so we're going to be good in terms of temperature. We have a gun now with a bunch of ammo. And we have even a better bow as well. I... I'm feeling pretty confident. I say we do it. Oh, there it is. Okay, let's check this out. So, oh, maybe that's just the picture that it has for the hard mission. Maybe the whole thing is over there. I think it's the same type of mission we just did. Search the area and collect prospector IDs. Yeah, it is. You know what? Let's just go over there. I know it's getting a little late. Yeah, let's just go over there and do it really quick. I don't think it'll take too long, especially if it's anything like the last one we just did. I, I gotta say, though, the bone arrow on this recurve bow looks so out of place. Still shoots good. It just looks out of place. Okay, we've made it to the zone. We have to find a body, and I'm assuming there's going to be some large animals out here that we're going to have to hunt. Okay, so let's see. I'm seeing some health bars over there. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be more bears. I'm seeing a couple out there already. Let's actually go. Wait, I think, I think next to that bear is the body. 
Did I just miss that bear? I thought I was going to be dead on. There's a good shot. Okay, I'm not going to use all my ammo on this guy. Oh. Oh, yep. Okay. All right, I get a little overconfident sometimes, but we just leveled up. So we're going to be able to unlock some more things here in a second, but let's uh, let's keep moving. I'll do that after the mission. It's getting re way too dark. Okay, we got two bears over here. Yes, here he is. Here he is. Let's take that. Oh, that's only one of the five that we need. I think that last mission we did, all five were on the guy. There's a one-hit kill. Oh, that was not a good shot. That was a good shot. 1,200 damage. Oh. I panicked. I switched to the wrong weapon. No, you are not running away. Okay, he is running away. He, he definitely ran away. Uh, can we use the bandage here to heal up quick? No, we can't. We need a suture kit. Oh, something's here. Oh, my goodness. Okay, let's grab our stuff really quick. Here we go. Okay, I think we're okay. I, I thought we were safe. That was an obvious mistake. I thought the bears were all going to run away, but one absolutely did not. But here, let's transfer this to the pod. So that's just one of five. So we need four more. I might have to go back and sleep for the night because I don't really want to do this at night. Oh, here's one. Okay, so I guess the medium mission had all five on one body. The hard one's probably going to be five separate bodies with one ID on each one. I'm just going to get back to the base. we got a big thunderstorm coming, and um, we'll just sleep through the night so that we can actually see while we're looking for these bodies during the daytime. Okay, it looks like this is probably going to be a pretty rough storm. Yep, there's the lightning. I'm going to light up all these things. Oh, I don't have any fuel for this. Let's turn that on. I put up some of these little wall torches just because uh, I got a bunch of them in one of the small missions that I did, and might as well use them. I'm hoping our house doesn't get struck by lightning, especially since it's all wood. And I'm thinking that at some point we're going to want to upgrade everything to stone. Oh my goodness. This is crazy. I was hoping to see some lightning striking out there, but I keep missing it though. The nice thing about being out on this island though is the fact that we don't have any trees. So we don't have to worry about trees falling on our base. Does look like our little pool house out there is taking some damage, but I'm not really worried about that. All right, let's swap out our oxygen bladder. It looks like we're still doing good on the fuel and everything in here. Oh, we only have three sulfur. Ah, that's okay. Dang it, I'm trying to get a view of the lightning striking because it just looks amazing. But I'm not even seeing the trees on fire. Okay, well, the storm's just about to end, so I'm just going to go to sleep. So now it's 7 in the morning. And let me shut off the lights. We don't need any fires while we're away. And I say we just get running. I know it's still pretty brutal out, but it's just about to end. Oh, hey, Mr. Crocodile. Got something for you. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Oh, I can't sprint when I've got this thing reloading. Okay, we're back in the area. We're going to have to find the last three bodies here. And I'm finding that the, the bolt-action rifle, it is good, but it's so slow. Oh, here's a body. That I really need to start at a distance and then probably just switch over to my bow and arrow and start shooting. Because I can very quickly get caught out just trying to reload the thing. Is this one that I've hit already? No, it's not. There we go. And I did see, I think, one more over here. No, I already got this guy. Okay. 
And there it is, the, the final one. So now we should be able to get a reward. That wasn't too bad, it's just I made some mistakes that, that got me killed. And I think that's it, right? Yep, okay, let's get out of here. Let's just run to the, uh, the reward pod. Oh, the reward pod's above us. Oh, that was close. I think I, I think I could have died from that thing. All right. Uh, we definitely don't need leather armor. We don't need the longbow. Oh, kind of want the flint arrows though. But we could get some strawberries and avocados. Yeah, let's get the let's get the fruit. Okay, so we are home. We made it back safe. We've got some talent points and blueprint points to spend. You might notice that there's this big stone wall right there. And that threw me off at first, but then I remembered it's our huge fireplace. So I think the next step is upgrade the entire bottom of walls and stuff to stone. Just so it's all kind of uniform. I'll probably end up moving this to another spot. We'll dedicate like an entire room to like the living space. But for now, I think uh, we get a bunch of stone, which we have a little bit out here. I think like 300, oh, 200. And then we'll need a bunch of wood as well in order to craft up a bunch. Oh, that's right. I've got a ton of stone in here. We'll craft up a bunch more. Um, how much can we make? Just one. Oh, we need a bunch of nails. Okay. How many do we have in here? We've got 190. Let's just grab it all. Go back up here. How many can we make now? We can make 16. Um, I think we have at least 16. So I'm putting the strawberries and soybeans that we got from that mission into the ice box. I don't know if we can use them. I suppose we probably could for some meals. Oh, this gives us 150 extra stamina. Let's grab those. Let's, let's try and craft that really quick. How many can we make? 47. We don't need 47. Let's make 20 for now. And there we go. Let's grab 10. We'll put the other 10 in the ice box. And then I think we should have our walls done. We do. Let's select stone in here and then just start upgrading. Almost made it all the way around. We've got all the stone all the way up until this little corner here. Let's see. What else do we need? We've got all the stone for it. Oh, it's just wood. I think we've got a little bit extra in here. Just grab all of that. Craft up eight more. And let's finish these walls here. And there we go. Now we've got all stone on the bottom. We're going to have to upgrade our doors. Yeah, let me shut this off. Uh, oh, no, that's still cooking. But, yeah, we're going to have to upgrade our doors because that's going to look a little goofy. Uh, it kind of looks a little goofy with just a stone bottom and wood top, but we are a lot more fortified now. And then at some point, we're going to have to make... You know what? Let's do that right now. Let's make as much uh, stone beams as we can, which looks like it's about 10. Let's check out the tech tree and see if there's any doors that might look better with the stone walls. Oh, there is the reinforced door that we could do. Yeah, let's do that. And then I did unlock the kitchen bench at one point and some beer. And that beer is going to do really good for stamina regeneration. It's plus 100% stamina regen. And then another 125 max stamina. So that's super good. I almost want to do the wine as well. So I wonder if we can combine both of those for some, like, crazy stamina regen. Let's do that. And let's just unlock the bread, though. I'm guessing we're going to need that for some recipes at some point. And then we're going to do a little upgrading to the beams down on the bottom floor. Oh, we got to repair it first. Oh, I need to add one here. And now I'm thinking with, especially with these stone beams, we're going to have a lot more support with them. And so we could probably get rid of a lot of the wood beams that are throughout the base here. But maybe I upgrade the ones that go across as well.
Okay, and now we just have these random wooden stairs. I we we gotta unlock the stairs, right? Oh wait, no, we haven't done that yet. We have to do it after the ramp. Okay, well we're out of talent points or uh, tech tree points, so let's do. We only have one talent point to upgrade. You know what I haven't been focusing on at all is the cooking and farming section. Let's do 15% decreased rate of food spoiling. I think that'll actually make a big difference. And while we do that, let's eat up a little bit here. All right, how many reinforced doors can we make? We can make three. Let's just make all three. It's pretty expensive. It's a lot of iron ingot, but I think they're going to look a lot better than the regular wood ones that we've got on right now. There we go. I think we have to actually pick up the doors on each one and replace them manually. That's okay, though. It only takes a second. Oh, that looks clean. Oh, that looks really good. I like that. I really enjoy that look. And there we go. We've got all the doors replaced. That looks good. Now, of course, we still have all wood up here on the second floor, but... We'll upgrade that eventually, and I think at some point we're going to unlock the interior, like, refined wood type of building. And so we'll actually replace some of these beams with that, so it'll look a little bit cleaner. This looks kind of clunky. I'm not a huge fan of the, the stone beams, but eventually we'll, we'll get that squared away. All right, so a storm just passed, and what I'm thinking is we do a little bit of mining. I want to get a bunch more iron, and then I also just want more of, like, the platinum and the aluminum and things like that. Just whatever I can find. Probably gold as well, because we're going to need that for electronics and probably some other things. So I'm thinking there's an area up over here that we haven't explored. So I say we head over this way, see if we can find any caves. I know there's some along the way, but I have hit those already, and there probably isn't a whole lot left. And uh, I'm going to leave these crocs alone, and I'm just going to go do my business. It's already... Uh, 2.30 in the afternoon, so I think I just get headed over there and uh, see what we can find. Now hold on, before we get even over to where we wanted to go, there is this massive structure in the stone here. And I really want to check out, I don't know if there's anything here. Or if it's even worth trying to get up here, but I gotta check. Whoa. Okay. Oh, there is a cave up here. Uh, I don't know if this is any different than the normal ones, but I definitely want to check it out. It looks like it's probably going to be normal, but might as well do our thing in here anyway. Yeah, that's three down. There's probably going to be at least two or three more. Where are you guys at? There's one. All right, normally there's one in the back. Maybe two more. And doing some mining in here is going to give us a lot of XP as well. Oh, hold on. I hear one. There it is. There, it's dead. <laughs> but yeah, it's going to give us a lot of XP. We're just over halfway through level 35. And so I think this is going to be really good for uh, earning that XP and getting a jump. And I guess unlocking some more things that we can uh, craft and build. Alright, so I ended up getting a bunch out of that. Uh, unfortunately, I'm kind of at my weight limit. And I ended up having to fight a bear 
a mountain lion, and a wolf as soon as I exited the cave. So it's kind of a dangerous spot. But I'm going to run back really quick and offload a lot of this stuff. And then we'll get back to mining. And there we go. We just got back to the base. I just killed a wolf and a crocodile on my way back. And we made enough XP to level up. Okay, so now... I know there's a lot of, like, necessary things that I'll need, like upgrades to my pickaxe and my weapons and just kind of general things with, that have to do with, like, crafting around the base. Like, I haven't even unlocked the fabricator yet, but part of me wants to unlock some of these things, like the chairs, the tables, things like that. Oh, and that buffalo cart would be really good, too, because that adds a bunch of weight capacity as well as inventory slots for when I do get another buffalo. But I think we unlock the stone stairs, the interior wooden beam... And just for fun, the leather curtain window. All right, so how many of these wooden beams can we make? Well, let's just make two. Like I said earlier, I wanted to at least put the ones on the stairs or nearby the stairs. Let's just see what that looks like first. All right, let's check it out. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that is way better. That looks so clean. 100% that's that's what we're doing. We're going to be doing that a little bit more. I mean, we don't really need beams around here. Maybe we'll do some just for aesthetics. But while we're here, let's throw some of these. I would say the majority of them in here. And let's just smelt up a bunch more iron. Because I know we have a lot currently. But I think we're probably going to continually need just a bunch more. We also have some in storage yet anyway. And then I'll go up here to the big furnace and... Let's throw some platinum and aluminum in there. And the gold, too. Yeah, we're sitting pretty dang good on, like, the more unique metals, the higher level ones. So I'm pretty happy with that. And then really quick, we have two talent points to spend. I'm going to put one into 10% food effects duration. Now that we do have the rifle, I say we... Uh, let's increase the damage. It's only 3%, but eventually we'll get that up to 10%. All right, so I just made a bunch of curtains. I don't know how they're going to look. Wait, do they... Oh, do they replace? Oh, no. I just can't put them on the double windows that I do. Okay, so let me put that there. How does that look? <laughs> kind of nice. Yeah, it adds, to, it adds to the aesthetics. Kind of gives it a more home-type feel. Kind of wish we could put them on the double windows, but I don't know why we can't. And I think that's all of them. I'm going to make sure they're all open. I don't really like it when they're closed. I think it looks pretty good when they're open. And there we go. I think I've got them all. Oh. Okay. Everyone but the double windows are now fully curtained up. And I think it looks pretty good. So that's what I'm saying when I eventually want to unlock, like, the chairs and, and tables and beds and things like that. That's really going to start to make it feel more like a home and less, like, kind of a workshop. Because this whole upstairs right now has definitely got the workshop vibes. I mean, I've got crafting tables and mixing benches all over the place. But probably downstairs is where we'll focus on building rooms and stuff. I think that'll be really nice. Like a bedroom over here or something. Or maybe we turn this into the kitchen. And then a bedroom over here or something. I don't know. And then we're going to expand out at some point. I don't know. Either way, well, I've got a ton of plans. Including cleaning up the dangerous wildlife out here on Icarus. But I think with that, I'm going to call it a day. It was quite an adventure-filled day. We got a ton of things done. We did some mining, did some hunting, did several missions. And got a lot of work done around the base. And um, I had a lot of fun. And I hope you guys did too. Let me know if you did. Throw a like on the video. Subscribe if you do want to see some more of this type of stuff. And I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. And I will see you in the next one. Later.